Okay, welcome back to our final step on order to cash business process. Our eighth step is payment processing. Basically, on payment processing, it's a step where you receive customer's payment. We call this part the cash portion, step eight, or the final step. This step actually is part of, it belongs to financial accounting module which is fi is what we call it and it is still the final step in order to cash process but it does belong to financial accounting side so instead of logistics side this actually belongs to financial accounting and accounting department will be the ones that's processing this final step so what it is is basically whether whatever the form that customer sent you the payment in your posting payment against their outstanding invoices or reconciling their differences that exist currently and when you post that incoming payment system automatically it, it'll update any of the relevant general ledger accounts within the accounting system so now we can see within the sales and distribution just the sales and distribution alone that the automation that's happening in the background throughout the entire process and of course this automation not particular just to the sales and distribution but it's actually connected to every other module within the enterprise so there's less chance of making mistakes no redundancy happening and of course it's a lot quicker and a lot more efficient for a business that's why they invest so much money into these type of erp systems and when you do an incoming payment processing there are a couple of effects that we must remember what does it do when you process or when an accounting department process these payments first thing it's going to do is it's going to make a debit posting to cash account and when we say cash account we're not talking about cash in a bunch of wad of cash in a drawer or anything we're talking about account that's dedicated to cash and it could be electronic cash or whatever it may be it's basically usually a bank account is what that is and then second thing it's going to do is it's going to make a credit posting to customers receivable accounts so customer receivable account and it's it sounds like receivable when we talk about receivable it sounds like something that customer might receive but no it what we are talking about is receivable account the account that we need we have coming the payment that we have coming received from the customer so it's a receivable account for a specific customer that we need to collect from them so anytime within this particular module or within sap or terp 10 when we talk about customers receivable account that is money owed to us okay so it's going to make a credit posting to customers receivable account so if customer owed us thousand dollars and we make a hundred dollar credit posting credit posting will bring their receivable account by hundred dollars which now they only owe us nine hundred dollars so credit brings it down and then debit posting like on the first one it says debit posting to cash account it brings up the value so we would of course debit hundred dollars in this example to our cash account so what happened with when we received the payment basically the payment we got increased our cash account or our bank account by 100 and it decreased customer what customer owes us and it's customers receivable account by 100 so they're always balanced out like this if we have a debit posting for 100 we're going to always have a credit posting for 100 okay so we are done with order to cash business process so we are done with one third of this particular in lecture for order to cash um, so first step we started out with sales order creation of sales order and then the system went through and made sure the product was available in availability check 
and our third step outbound delivery document was created with that we had transfer order to pick and pack the goods and then once the goods were done we would post goods issue then there's a transportation happening and we sent them the bill of course billing was created by our logistics side invoice was created and sent to the customer from our accounting department and then once they sent in the payment our accounting department processed the payment and processing the payment belongs to the accounting department so thank you for watching this particular section and i'll catch you on the next lecture thanks